What's up everyone, how you all doing? Blue Nerd here and welcome back my friends to our Minecraft Medieval Castle tutorial. I sure hope you guys are having an awesome day. Now today guys, we're going to head straight into the castle and we're going to start on the feast hall and the kitchen on the first floor. But before we do that guys, let's just take a quick look on the ground here. This is what we've done in last episode and I'm really happy with the way this has turned out. We've got our throne room around here and overall I think this place is looking pretty cool. Now don't worry guys, I know a few of you were worried about us missing out the dungeons. We will be coming back to that later on. I think we'll have a stairway in here that's going to go down to some of the dungeons. And uh, we'll work out what we're going to do with that a little bit later. But for now we're going to head upstairs and start working on the feast hall. So if we come up to the first floor here, I think we're going to actually start with the hallway. We'll start out here, so let's go ahead and get ourselves a few things together. And the idea here is going to be to try and add in a little bit of light so we can get rid of some of these torches as well. Um, but I want to add quite a lot of little bits and bobs around. It's not going to really be too crazy in the hallway here, but just enough to make it look like there's, a, you know, there's something going on. So I think first of all we're going to get some bookshelves and when we come up our stairs here I think we're going to put one there. And then we'll skip to put a load of them down here like this. Um, we're going to need quite a few of these. I'm going to put two across here and two across here, just like that. Um, up this side of the hallway here, I think from where the window is, so we've got our kitchen just there, I think we're just going to run a bunch of bookshelves all the way down until we come one past the window. Then I think we're going to leave it here. Maybe we'll run some across this gap here. So we've got one block at each side like this. And then around this corner here, we'll go one, two, and then maybe one, two, three, four from the corner. One, two, three, four. Yeah, something like that should be good. And then we're just going to bring this side here across to the corner, leaving that one like that. So that should be nice for now. Don't worry, we're going to come back in a minute and add a bit more decorations, maybe mix it up a little bit and whatnot. So let's just see what we can do. So let's switch this out for the moment and I'm going to grab a crafting table. We're going to put a crafting table each side of this one. We're going to do the same over here as well. Um, I think on the corner here I might put a crafting table this side and a crafting table that side. Maybe the same on this one. Something like that. And then I think maybe one on this corner here. Maybe even one there. Yeah, I think we might just leave it like that. That's looking pretty good. Okay, now I want to get in some armor stands as well. And we'll put the armor on them later on. But I'm going to put one at each side of this door. One at each side of this door. Then we're going to go for a lantern. I think in that corner. This one can come one down. Maybe we'll put this one on the corner. And then let's get rid of some of these torches. So we get rid of that one, that one, and then these ones down here. Also, the ones on the floor, we get rid of those. Um, what I'll do here before we get rid of these ones, because it will be a bit dark. So right round at this corner here. So there's the feast hall. We're going to come all the way around to the very end of the hallway. Leave a one block gap from the end. We're going to put one there. This side here, we're going to put one right in the center of this 3x3 three three block in the corner. So something like that. We should be okay to get rid of these torches now. Yep, that looks pretty good. Let's get rid of that torch. Then we're going to get rid of that torch. We're going to leave a 3 block gap coming down this way for this one. So 1, 2, 3, and then place one on the 4th. Over here. Let's put one in the center there, so where the stairs are, one right in that middle. Then at the bottom of the stairs here, leave it one block and then place one there. That looks pretty good. And then at the end here, I think we're going to leave a one block, place one there, in, right in the center again. And I think that should do. Let's get rid of any torches that we have that are still about. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Then down here, I think I'm going to put a lantern there and a lantern there. Okay, perfect. Right, now, of course, if you want, add yourself a few flower pots about just for a little bit of decoration, kind of just randomly. 
And I think we'll put an orange one in there. Orange one there. Maybe a blue one. A blue orchid. And then maybe we'll go something like one there and one there. And then again, we're just going to mix these up a little bit. Something like that. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, right. So we've got a little bit of a nice floor plan in here. I think what we might do is we're going to go for... Let's use the compost. I haven't used this for a while. Well, I haven't used this much at all, actually. Um, and we're going to get some leaves. I think we're going to go for the acacia leaves here. Um... Yeah, let's go for the acacia leaves, for now at least. And let's just see if we can fit some in randomly somewhere. Um, so we could put a composter just here. And if you wanted to, you could even just fill this up with a bit of dirt like that. With uh, Well, not dirt, but with some flowers or something till it gets to the top. And I actually, I'll tell you what, let's just go a little bit different here. Let's get a spruce fence. And what we'll do is we can now place a spruce fence on the top. So it looks like it's kind of coming out of the dirt. And then we can put maybe two of those on top like that. Make a little plant. I just think it looks a little bit decorative and uh, makes it look a little bit nicer. Um, maybe by one of the doorways. Should I keep the armor stand? I like the armor stands being by the doorways though. That's the thing. Yeah, I think we'll keep the armor stands by the doorway. I think what we'll do is we'll put a pot of this side and a pot of this side. Again, let's fill that one all the way to the top. Then we're going to put... Oops, I didn't tell it to do that. Let's put the dirt to the top. Put the fence on that and then two like that. Let's do the same with this one. So let's fill it with some flowers or something of your choice. Put the, acacia, uh, the spruce fence on top two acacia leaves it just creates a little bit of color in here just for something a little bit different um you know and kind of just adds a little bit of life in here and i think that actually looks okay for the moment that's looking good armor i'm gonna come back and do that at the end because i've got more armor stands to place yet so we'll go around and we'll do the armor stands all at once i think now for lighting it's pretty dark in here this um let's break this here for the moment and what we'll do is we'll get ourselves some iron bars and we've got some lanterns, so that'll be fine. And I'll tell you what, let's just try this. I've got no idea how it's going to look, but we'll give it a try. We're going to get our spruce fence and let's work out exactly where we're going to place it. So we've got one light over here. Obviously, I can't put nothing hanging down here because of the height. I'll end up stopping people being able to walk up the stairs. But on this side, we should be able to go... I'm not sure if I even want it there. I think more inwards about here. Yeah, so we put right where this corner block is here. Leave a one block gap right where the stone bricks is. Put a fence up there. Iron bar. Then we're going to go fence. And then place a fence on each side like this. And to be honest, guys, these lights, there's two ways you can do them. You can make the lanterns hang underneath. Like this. And then maybe put a trapdoor in the middle, which I think looks pretty cool. Or you could even do the opposite. You could actually put the lanterns on top. So let's get rid of the lanterns underneath for a minute and just see how they look on top. Hmm, I actually quite like that. I think I'm going to keep it like that, actually. I quite like that. It's different. And we've done a few different styles of these so far. So, yeah, I think I'm going to stick with that one. I like that. That's cool. Okay, right. Now, I think most of this hallway is okay down here. Let's see. Maybe we can add a couple of paintings here. So, let's go ahead. Let's place... Um, where should we put a paint in? Let's put a block there for a minute. We can put a two wide one there. We can break that then place one here and I think we could put a single one there yeah that looks good over here we could probably go ahead and get one on the wall so maybe we do that place a paint in there 
adds a little bit of interest and I think I might just leave it at that maybe down here we can put some so how much space do we have have a look one two yeah we could maybe go a two wide paint in there and we'll do the same over here let's get another two wide paint in just there yeah that's good okay right that looks good now up here I'm gonna do a bit of carpet guys but I'm gonna do this a bit different downstairs we've kept it fairly neat up here, I'm going to go for another style so you guys can kind of see up here. We're going to just go for a bit of a messier style here. So I'm going to start by just placing a kind of a random line like this. All the way down the hallway. Don't worry about them ones I'm placing on top of each other. We'll remove those in a minute. Something just random. Okay, so it looks like a bit of a random line. And then what we're going to do is just randomly here and there, we're going to just poke some edges out one way or the other. Um, diagonals like this. We kind of just want a bit of a messy looking carpet here. Something kind of like this. Now, I never used to like it before, but I think it actually it has a bit more of an effective look to it. Something kind of like this. Let's get rid of them ones. A couple there. We we'll join that one over to there. Something a bit random, maybe like this. And then we we'll do the same in here. Now that we've got all of this bit of room, let's break that one. I keep placing these things on top of each other. And then I think we're just going to go something like this. Yeah, something kind of like that. I think that's good. Yeah, that looks good. That's good. Yeah, so we're going to go for a bit more of a messier look up here. It gives it a bit more of that kind of medieval kind of vibe going on, I think. And I quite like that. So it's quite simple down here, guys. We ain't gone too crazy, you know. But it's enough. I think there's enough decoration here to sort of keep it looking half decent. And I think what we'll do is we'll grab ourselves a couple more of the um, these armor stands. And we're going to come all the way around this corner here. And we're just going to put one at each side of the doors the double doors here let's make them face straight i think something like that yeah that looks good let's just put a lantern down here and we'll come back and get some actually let's just do it while we're here let's get some flower pots and just put a couple of flowers down here just for a little bit of extra detail on these um on these little benches here Let's do Lily of the Valley and maybe some Azure Blur, not Azure Blur, the Allium. And then we'll get some Sea Pickles, because the Sea Pickles actually in this texture pack, which is Germsy Boys, we can um, place some of the Sea Pickles and they look like candles. And then we're going to go for a flower pot there, we're putting a Lily of the Valley. Let's put another one there. That's like that. A couple of candles again. Something like that flower pot and then maybe one more lantern down here yeah I think that looks pretty cool I'm pretty happy with that okay guys I think we're gonna start working in the feast hall now but before we do that we're gonna just head upstairs just to make a little bit of a change so we're gonna go all the way around here we're gonna go up to the next floor so go up the stairs we're gonna follow it all the way around Go straight down here, and if we look over the balcony here, there's the feast hall. We're going to just literally come around this corner, and this wall here, before we go down the stairs here, we're going to break three like this, and then like four high in total, okay? So there's three more above it, like this. And then we're just going to grab some stairs, put a stair here and a stair here. We're going to break these three uh, stone, stone bricks here, and what we're going to do is at this level here where these blocks are okay so one below the, the flooring 
we're gonna literally just fill this with some stone bricks like this okay all the way across so from where we place them there we're gonna bring them all the way across here and then we're also gonna bring them out by one more block okay so that it is flush with this wall as you can see it runs straight across from that side let's fill in the rest of the blocks at the back here and then what we're gonna do is where this block is here we're literally just gonna make a wall all the way across to this side and then just bring it all the way up to the ceiling here okay and just fill it all in And then once you've done that, grab your dark oak planks and then just fill in the flooring as well inside here just so that it blends in nicely. There we go, just like that. And I think that is perfect. So now we have a little room here. We could use this for maybe some storage or something like that. We're going to follow this path all the way back again now. All the way around and go down the stairs. And then head back to the feast hall. There. Now as you can see we've got a nice little edge above the side here. So let's go ahead and let's grab our uh, stone bricks again. And we're just going to bring one level down like this. Okay. One level. And then I think we're going to grab some of the stone brick stairs. And place one this side and one this side. Now this is going to be where the king queen and the king's right hand man are going to sit to eat so what we're going to do from the corner come to this one and you want to go across here which should be four blocks one two three four these are the dark oak planks and then we're going to just join all the way over to this side and then just fill the back in like this then we're going to grab our dark oak slabs we're going to place a row in front of them like this and then we're going to place a row around the side like this. Okay. And that's perfect. Now, okay, this is going to be the king's room. Let me just grab out some bookshelves. Some spruce slabs. We're also going to grab ourselves some item frames. Some spruce signs. Some spruce trapdoors. Then we're going to go for some banners of choice. I'm going to grab some white ones and then a red one for the king. And then I'm going to get some upside down, uh, not some upside down, <laughs> some spruce stairs as well. And we will need some more stuff in a minute, but that'll do for now. So first of all, this place where the king, queens and whatnot seats are going to go. So we're going to use the spruce slab. And one block away from the wall, we're going to place one here, leaving a one block space at the side, leave a one block gap and a one block gap. So basically from the side here, there'd be a one block gap between each of these slabs. Then we're going to go to, to where the wall is. We're going to turn around and on the ground, we're going to play, crouch, place a slab and then place another one on top. But we will need to remove that torch. So place two, another two trap doors here and another two here and then just open them up. Now, on the end ones, like this one here, we're going to put two um, item frames, one at each side, the same on this one. Then on this one here, we're going to place a uh, spruce sign on one side of the slab and a spruce sign on the other side of the slab. Then we're going to crouch in the middle, place a red banner, and in the middle of this one, place a white banner and a white banner on the top, on the top trapdoor, but you will need to crouch to place it. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now, over here, one block in front and one block, back, uh, one block back against the wall. Place an upside down spruce stair. Then we're going to go ahead and just place two stairs here for a second like this. Break that one and place an upside down one there. Then break that one. Okay. And then literally, we're just going to join them with some spruce slabs all the way through the middle to create a table. And that looks pretty good right okay now for the table for everybody else we're gonna break these torches and we're gonna go for let's work out the 
rough center of the room. Now, not the center of where that is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four. So this block here is the center of the room. So from that stair there, we're gonna go one, two block gap, um, actually three block gap, then place a slab. So it should be a three block gap. Then we're gonna go one, two, three, I think, leaving a three block gap, yep. And then we're just gonna double those up to blocks, like that. Get your spruce stairs, place some upside down ones around the entire thing like this, it's wrapping them around the corners as well, and all the way across this edge. And there we go, we've got a nice table in the middle of the room. Let's go ahead and break that torch for the moment. In the middle of the table here, I'm going to just put a, a lantern, just for now. Um, and then for the seats, we're going to go one at each end. And then one, two, three. Hmm, that didn't work out. Oh no, this one should be one shorter. Sorry guys, yeah, it should be one shorter and that lantern should be there, I think. That should go there. Break that center one there and then connect the upside down stairs. Break that one there. So we should have three on this side, three stairs on this side for chairs and then one in the center of each side. And I think that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and give everyone a little tray. Something like that. Also do for the king, queen, and the king's right-hand man. Okay, that's looking good. Right, let's get some glowstone. Uh, some glowstone. And then I'm going to go for... We, we use the, the um, spruce trapdoors here, I think. So above where the king is sitting here, we're going to break a two-block gap in the center like this all the way across. Okay, like this, and then what we do, bring your glowstone all the way down, fill that all the way up. Now before we do any anything any further guys, let's get some stone bricks, and right on this wall here, right on this corner, let's just bring a block across here. And what you could do, is you could leave these six here like this. So basically, you want the glowstone with a one block ring all the way around the edge. It doesn't particularly matter. I mean, you haven't got to. It's just an idea. And then in here, you could just put two like that. And then what I would do is just place some trapdoors on the ceiling. Just like so. The same in this room here. All the way across the ceiling. Perfect. Okay, and that gives us a nice ceiling. And we've got some light in here as well, which is good. That's what we need. This room is pretty dark. Now, let's get some bookshelves again, and we're going to go one, two over here, one, two just here. Then I think we're going to put one here, we'll put three in this corner here, actually no. No, let's leave that one there. We'll put three over this side, and then one there, and actually we're going to break that one there as well for now. I think that would be good. Let's go ahead and grab our... Um, our crafting tables, we'll put one at each side like this, just to make it look a little bit more finished. And then I think over here we'll put one crafting table there, one crafting table there. And I think that actually looks pretty good guys, I think that's good for covering some of the room up, that looks good. So now it's just a matter of getting in the decorations, I think all of the kind of shape of everything is organised. So one last thing actually, what I think is actually a good idea, is get some dark oak logs. And what we do here is where the center of the table is, because it should be in the center of the room, we're going to go here, go up. Then we're going to go on the wall here and go up by one block. Bring one pillar through the center of the room. Leave a one block gap, place another one across here. Then we're going to go here, leave a one block gap this side and bring one across here. You may have to break a couple of these blocks here, but don't worry, it doesn't matter. Just bring it all the way across like that. 
And then this side here, for some reason, I didn't think that had another one. I think we'll actually leave that there. I don't really want to put another one on the end here because it's going to make it look a little bit uneven. So I think we're going to leave it like that. And what we'll do is we're going to go one, two from the end. On the third one here, place a lantern. On the third one here, place a lantern. And then again here, we're going to, oops, we missed a log. Put one up there. Again, two from that end, go one lantern there. Two from that end, one lantern there. And I think that will give us a nice bit of light in here for lighting up all of the room. I might go ahead and just put one lantern down there to brighten up that corner. But I think that looks pretty good. Around this corner here, we're going to get ourselves some more bookshelves. Um, bookshelves. We're just going to put a little row of them down here and then a lantern on that corner there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that. Okay, let's get some um, ups, some ups, I keep saying upside down. Let's get some stone brick stairs and place them upside down over here. And I think that looks good. Okay, right. Yeah, I think that will be okay. We've got two block gap this side and two block that, guy, that, that side. So it looks even each side anyway. Okay, right, I think that is looking good now. Let's get in a few more decorations here. So first of all, let's start with, um, let's get some food on the table. So for here, we're going to go ahead, we're going to get ourselves maybe some cooked steaks. Um, what else might people eat? Some cooked salmon. Maybe get ourselves a cake. Maybe even a biscuit. Or even actually pumpkin pie instead. I think that will do for that. Then we're going to need um, some flower pots. Let's get some flower pots. I'm going to get some brown mushrooms as well. And I'll show you why in just a moment. And I think we're going to get a bell as well. A bell might be a cool idea. So say for instance the king has something he wants to announce and he wants to call everyone. There's a bell. He can get his right hand man to come and ring the bell. Then on the table here I'm going to place a couple of flower pots like this. Maybe one here. And for the two, this one here I'm going to put a brown mushroom in it. Because in Jersey Boy's texture pack it does turn into like a little cup. Which I think is pretty cool with some water in it or a drink. Let's place a cake on the table. We'll put some... If we get it right some cod on this guy's plate we'll put a steak on this one's plate maybe this guy is eating a bit of pumpkin pie uh, maybe this guy's even got a bit of cake this guy over here can have another steak uh, we'll go pumpkin pie then we'll put another bit of fish and over here we'll go for steak there we go so everyone's got a bit of food. And then we're just going to get ourselves some flowers. Let's get some mm, let's get some white flowers in here. Some white flowers. Maybe some of these pink ones here. And we're going to get the sea pickles because they look like candles. So we can go ahead and... Hmm. I think I'd have to actually put the candles like that on the table. Let's put a couple of these here. These are the sea pickles. Just randomly dot some of these around. Something like that. Place in some flower pots. And we're going to put in some flowers, of course. Something like that. And I think rather than the candles being there, I think I would rather just have some flowers on the table. I think it looks a little bit better. Something like that. I think that is good. Okay, right, that is the room more or less organized there. Let's, um, let's see, there still looks a little bit dark here and there, but I think, I think the room is bright enough now. Let's get our stairs and place some stone brick stairs each side of this bit here, just to make it look more supported. 
Okay, maybe some pictures in here. We could do some paintings. Let's get some paintings. And I think... Hmm, where are we going to go for the paintings? I think we'll place one on here. Like so. Maybe we could get some above the doors here. Let's put something like that. Does that look too much? Is it too high? I actually think that looks alright. I'm going to just quickly go ahead and break any of these torches out now as well. I think we've got them all actually. Yeah, that looks like we've got them all. Alright, guys, I actually think I like this. I think this is looking pretty good and I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, let's put a painting. Well, not that big. Let's put that there for a second. Let's put another one there like that. And I think that is pretty good. I think I'm happy with that. I don't know if we can get away with putting one on the wall. Not there at least. Hmm. Maybe we'd get away with that. Yeah, I'm going to leave that there for now. And I think this is looking good in here now, guys. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a couple more things again. So let's get a composter. Let's get a spruce fence and some more leaves. I think we're going to go for... Let's have a look at the jungle leaves. The jungle leaves might look pretty cool. And by the side of the door here, I think we'll put one here. One in this corner. Maybe even one here and here. And I think we might do these ones a little bit different. I think rather, actually, rather than putting the spruce on there, you can still put the, uh, fill them up if you wanted. Maybe put a couple of leaves on top. Let's do the same here, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to do these ones in here like this. I'm not going to put the, um, put the spruce fence on it. Something like this. And I think that looks nice. I like that. Adds a bit of colour in here. And a little bit of life. I'm not sure if this one makes it too much. Just tone it down that little bit, yeah. Something like that. That looks good. I'm happy with that. I think that is really good. Let's go ahead and get our carpet and bring the carpet into here. And we're going to go for the same kind of thing, guys. We're going to just bring it in and just kind of randomly place it. And just kind of give it that worn down effect. So something along these kind of lines, I think. Yep, I'm going to go with that, I think. Maybe that one there as well. Okay, okay, I'm going to stop breaking them now. Right, I think that's good, guys. I think I'm happy with the look of that. We've got this all sorted out. That looks really cool. Um, let's go ahead and remove that light there. We don't need that. And maybe we just actually throw a little flower pot down here as well. Um, maybe even a little picture. Let's get rid of that one and that one. Let's put a smaller one here. Something like that. Okay, and I think that is good guys. Let's go back out into the hallway And we can go through to the kitchen. The kitchen is behind this one here, but we'll walk around the outside here I'm gonna come through into this side And this is gonna be the kitchen. So I've got a few ideas for this one guys now There's a few things you can change here because my my crafting table here doesn't have the the tablecloth on the top so that I can place them as a kind of worktop like this look so if I place them down they kind of look like a worktop because they join onto each other on the top if you're using a normal crafting table it might look a bit funny so if you're using a normal crafting table it might not look right here so what you might want to do for the sides is use the barrels okay so let's grab some barrels let me just grab a few things for this room first of all we're gonna need a cauldron and a brewing stand. We're going to need um, some smokers. We're 
We're gonna need a bell. We've got the barrels. We've got those. We've got those. Um, we're gonna need some slabs and some upside down stairs. I keep getting upside down stairs. We're gonna need some stairs. <laughs> Right, so for the worktops on the side, guys, you could go ahead and use a table. For instance, I'm going to put a table here. This is the door that goes into the uh, feast hall. So let's go one block to the side, upside down stair, then one, two, three, three slabs. Let's place a couple of slabs there for a minute and place an upside down stair that way. Then we can break those two. Now down the bottom here, I'm going to go ahead from uh, this one and put a row of the um, crafting tables. I might break that one there and put a cauldron for a sink. Then I'm going to put barrels across the top. Now like I said, if you've, if, you, if you've got these crafting tables here and they don't look right because you've got tablecloths on them, just go ahead and maybe use some barrels like this. You could even go ahead and just put down some um, upside down stairs like this or even a full plank block is entirely up to you but I'm gonna go ahead and put down my crafting table like this because I think it looks pretty cool we're gonna place a bell here this is where we can like ring the bell maybe if some meals are ready and stuff like that now we're gonna turn ourselves around and I think from the corner here we're gonna go one two three four five crafting tables and then one, two, three crafting tables against that side. Now again, guys, like I said, if you ain't, if you, if these don't, if you, if you don't have a table, uh, if you have a tablecloth on top, sorry guys, then you might want to change this up. And there's, like I say, you could make a table like this with an upside down stair at each side connecting with slabs. You could do that down this side and then have another one this side. You could run some upside down stairs all around like this. To make a little workspace you could go ahead and just use a full plank in there just like this if you want and then you could put a um, item frame on the front with a piece of carpet or a trap door and turn it until it looks like a handle on each side okay so there's quite a few different ideas you can use but because this one looks pretty good I'm gonna go ahead and place these in so we're gonna go for that for now let's break these two here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up so one two three on the bottom of the fourth block on the bottom of the fourth block or on even on the fourth block as a whole you can just put a block up there like this just for the minute get yourself a couple of lecterns and we'll go and get those turn around so you're facing away and then put two upside down lecterns like this or place them from upside down but it will place as normal then you can put a couple of smokers in there get some metal trapdoors or iron trapdoors place a couple of them there and that looks a bit like an extractor and then you can simply just bring this all the way to the ceiling so it looks like it's been boxed in and that's your extractor going out now get yourself some barrels i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna actually break that one no no i'll keep that one actually gonna go ahead and place some barrels around this edge here like so let's break that torch up there for a minute i think that looks okay yep that looks good then in the corner here i'm gonna randomly place some barrels up this wall so let's go like this just randomly Placing some barrels in a no particular shape pattern. And we're going to do the same over here. Make sure they're facing outwards. And then go ahead and get your scaffold blocks. And with the scaffold in, you just want to fill in the gaps. And it kind of looks a little bit of a, like a kind of, um, like a bit of a winery sort of thing, you know, where you store wine and stuff like that. Something like that. I think that looks good. Okay, that looks perfect. And then we're just going to put one more of those there like that. Let's put a lantern in the corner there for a little bit of light and a lantern over there for a bit of light as well. Okay, let's get ourselves some dark oak logs a minute. 
and we're going to see if we can make something better for the ceiling here. So what do we have? We've got six across. So we should be able to come up. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. On the fifth block up, we're going to place a row across this way. So this door down here is the one that goes into the, um, into the feast hall. So place one across that way. One going across to here. And then one more all the way across from here. And you're going to have to just break that one there and go through. Grab that table and you can always throw that back in there after. Yeah, something like that. And I think what we do at this side here on the middle beam, leave a one block gap, place one there. Actually, leave a two block gap and a two block gap. There we go. That looks a little bit better. And that gives us a nice bit of room in here. And this is actually looking kind of nice. Yeah, I like this. And up here, I might just go ahead and place... Just see. Where we have the lanterns there, let's place one there above. And one there above. And that's only just to stop any mobs spawning on these logs. And that should pretty much do the trick. Where the barrels are over in this corner here above, I think I might just add an extra row to bring it up a little bit. Something like that. So, first of all, let's get a bucket of water, put it in there, and we're going to place a tripwire hook there, brewing stand there, and I think a brewing stand over here. Let's put a flower pot over here with some flowers in it. I'm going to put two of these here with some brown mushrooms in, so they look like they're cups. And this is going to be like the serving table. This is where the food is getting ready to go out to the king and his men. And then we're going to put three of these down here. We might even put one, one down on here if we can do it. There we go. And I think that is actually looking pretty good. Let's get some paintings. And in Germany Boys Texture Pack, we can get a row of knives like this, which is really cool. And we could probably put another lot over there. There we go. And that's looking pretty good. Let's get some food for the um, for the king's tray. So we get maybe one of those. Let's get a cake and maybe a pumpkin pie. And what we're going to do in here, we're going to actually go ahead and we're going to replace that. Let's put a, a cake there. We'll put in some pumpkin pie and then maybe some steak like that. That looks pretty good. And I'd say this looks like a pretty good little kitchen. Um, I actually think we actually need some barrels to look like storage. Let's put a few barrels down here. So maybe some like that. We've got some rice or something stored in there. Let's put another one down over here. It's got some fish in it. Maybe even one down here. There we go. Yep, and I would say that is actually really cool. One last thing I'm going to do here, guys, is grab some carpet. I'm going to get the grey and the light grey, I think. But you guys could use any colour carpet that you want. And I'm going to do a checker pattern in here to make it look a bit like um, like it's been tiled. So something like this. And then we do the opposite colour on the opposite gaps. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with that, guys. i got to say, I think that looks pretty cool. So I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually get a screenshot of that one. There we go. I think that looks pretty cool. So we got the kitchen. We've got the feast hall, which I absolutely love the feast hall as well. I think that looks great. Let's get a quick screenshot while we're here. That looks pretty cool. And then we've got our hallway that's all been done down here as well. And I think the hallway actually looks really cool. Um, hopefully it's not, too, you know, not too little. And one more thing we actually need to do, we need to actually add some armor on the armor stands. Let's go ahead and get some armor here. And I think we'll go for two different types of armors. We'll get some diamond armor, maybe just for a couple of the stands in the throne room. But I keep saying throne room, in the feast hall. And then we're going to go for some iron armor 
for the others. There we go. So let's start down here. And we've got two guards here. So let's put a helmet, a jacket, trousers, and boots. We'll do the same on these guys. There we go. Nice. Do we have some more guys down here? We do. Let's do a couple of helmets. There we go. Perfect. Alright guys, well I think this one is just about done. I think we're going to wrap it up just there. So we've got all of the feast hall done now, which I think is looking really cool. I'm really happy with the way this one has turned out. We've also got our kitchen all in place, which again, I'm really happy with the way this one is shaped up. I think it's looking really cool. And then we've got the bit of the hallway here on this floor all done as well. So we've got most of the first two floors done in here with the odd little bit downstairs. We've still got to do the dungeons and we've still got to do the storage room around the side here. We're going to have a storage room for all of our food. So we'll have a storage room in just here and then the rest of the castle, there's still a lot of work to do and I'm not sure what we're going to do with the rest of it just yet because we've got all of the room here. We've got a bunch of room down here. Up here at the very top, I'm guessing this is where we're going to have some of the bedrooms because we've got a lot of space up here. Um, but yeah guys, overall I've got to say I'm really happy with the way this one is shaping up. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series too. If you are, please remember to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. Just don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. But for now, this is Blue Nerd signing out. And I will catch you guys in the next one.